and welcome to this lesson, Equivalent Ratios. Here we have the question of what is the ratio of coffee to donuts? We learned in a previous lesson that a ratio is comparing two quantities. So I noticed that I have one cup of coffee and two donuts. So my ratio is one to two. What if we had more coffee and donuts? This time I have two cups of coffee and four donuts. So the ratio is two to four. If we were to separate our coffee and donuts into equal groups, we would see we have our original ratio of one to two. That means that two to four and one to two are equivalent ratios. To find an equivalent ratio, we are going to treat ratios like fractions. This is because a way of writing a ratio is with a fraction. So when we have the ratio 2 fourths, we know that we can divide both the numerator and denominator by a greatest common factor of 2. So the equivalent ratio is going to be 1 half. We just saw this in our donuts problem. And as long as I do the same thing to the numerator and denominator, by multiplication or division, I keep the amount in the one group the same. This allows me to find other equivalent ratios. So I can multiply 1 half by 3 on the numerator and denominator and end up with 3 sixths. 3 sixths is an equivalent ratio to 2 fourths and 1 half. If my fractions all simplify to the same fraction, then they are equivalent. We can use a table to view equivalent ratios more easily. So one half is the same ratio as one cup of coffee to two donuts. Two fourths is two cups of coffee to four donuts. And three sixths is three cups of coffee to six donuts. This is helpful because in this real world problem, let's say that you went to the donut shop with a friend and you needed to know how many donuts you would get with two cups of coffee. We don't always want it to be in the simplified form for real world situations. Ratio tables are very helpful. Let's look at another example with them. Here I have inches compared to feet. I have a relationship of 24 inches to two feet and 36 inches to three feet. I notice that I am missing the number of inches for one foot and the number of inches for four feet. So I can use a ratio table to go from two feet to one foot. I notice that in order to get from two to one, I had to divide by two. Because ratios and ratio tables and fractions are all very similar, whatever I do to one side, I can do to the other. So 24 divided by two will give me 12 which means that there are 12 inches for every one foot. To go up in a ratio table, I can multiply. So because I wanna know how many inches are in four feet, I'll look at how did I get from one to four. I can multiply one by four and get to four. So then I should do the same thing to the other side. 12 times four will give me 48. So I can see that there are 48 inches in four feet. Notice that all of these fractions will simplify to the same number. 24 halves will simplify to 12 over one, 36 thirds will simplify to 12 over one, and 48 fourths will simplify to 12 over one. So once again, we just increased the number of groups that we had, and that is why all of these ratios are equivalent. Let's recap. Equivalent ratios are ratios that have the same value. Equivalent ratios are found by multiplying or dividing each ratio by the same number. You can simplify a ratio the same way as simplifying a fraction. And just like with fractions, what you do to one part of the ratio, you must do to the other. That wraps up our lesson. Thanks so much for watching. Feel free to click the red subscribe button so you always have access to this and other lessons. Thanks again for tuning in. Until next time.